I know some of you really enjoy my gameplay and I wanted to start doing certain videos where I just make videos about my gameplay style. I do have a couple videos that I give you, you know, tips and gameplay improvement <laughs> ideas, but I really want to also get the discussion going of how we all play our game. So something I want to talk about is aging in The Sims 4. Now, honestly, I am guilty for not being able to age my Sims. So if you go to game options, hit gameplay for for me, I have auto age played Sims off and I have auto age unplayed Sims unchecked and the Sims lifespan is grayed out because I absolutely, I just, I can't. I need my Sims to live forever. But on a serious note, I do this because I find that sometimes I get way too attached to a family and I want to do certain things that the time does not allow and I feel like I need more time with them and so I manually age them up. So I'm going to kind of show you how I work my aging process with one of my most iconic families the Bundaris and which I am not going to save this because they <laughs> they are they have aging off for a reason basically all I'm going to be doing today is showing you how I age my sims up manually and how I age up their friends and family so everything is cohesive and everyone's the same age that they need to be and I'm going to show you how to do this with mods and without mods. Before we jump in the video, I'd like to thank our sponsor HelloFresh. Did you know that HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit? It is so convenient. There's something so nice about choosing what you like to eat and having it sent straight to your door ready to cook. You can just go to hellofresh.com and choose from 40 delicious weekly recipes with pre-portioned ingredients. I love HelloFresh because meal planning is very, very time consuming. I swear there's not enough time in the day. HelloFresh is great if you're a mom like me, struggling to find new recipes that your family will like. The recipes are foolproof. You can't mess them up. And if you have picky eaters, don't worry because HelloFresh makes customizing your meals so easy. You can swap proteins and sides and so much more. If you'd like to check out HelloFresh, save money by using my link in the description or go to HelloFresh.com and use my code POGOCEANMAR60 for 60% off plus free shipping. And once you click, my description will actually live update to count up the purchases. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, and I hope you all enjoy. So recently, The Sims 4 actually did a revamp on how they age Sims in the game. So if I turn this on and I hit normal, apply these changes, my Sim Yash here will actually age up in about 15 days. He's already had quite a life. If we change it to long, he now has 61 days until he ages up, which is actually a really long time. So if I am playing with aging on, it's most likely going to be on long because with that revamp, it definitely makes it easier to do things. I have aging back to normal where it says he'll age up in 15 days. I'm gonna go to the calendar really quick. The reason why I do like having aging on at least is because you can see when their birthdays are going to be on the calendar. And I think that's still kind of cool to be able to see when their birthdays actually will happen. I kind of sacrificed that bit, but to replace this, I have aging back off. And when I come back over here, obviously they're not on the calendar, but what I like to do is add a holiday. So I'll just put for Saturday that it'll be Yash's 60th birthday or something like that. I have custom icons for my calendar. I actually have a whole video on like the ultimate calendar guide I made ages ago if you need any help or ideas for your calendar. All right, so this is Yash's 60th birthday coming up. You can choose day off work or school. Sometimes I check it just because I only care about my Sims household and I could care less if anyone across the board in the world is affected. I just make sure that, you know, they don't have to call out of work and waste a day. Typically when I add this on the calendar, I just add it as a mental note and I do whatever I want on that day. I also throw like an event on that day, but I'm not throwing anything just yet. So if you want, you can treat this like a holiday where you also make that note in your mind that you're going to barbecue that day or you're going to eat ice cream and have a family dinner. You know, he doesn't really care for too much on his birthday. With that being said, then you'll come over here and I now have it on the calendar. And I love this because I know, you know, that they'll be aging up and you also get a notification over here if i do want to have a birthday party obviously i will take off 
this and I will come back over here and add an event. Now, typically I don't do gold events. Now you can't do a, I think there's another event that day actually going on. So you can't even do a gold event that day anyway, but I typically don't do gold events anymore for birthdays. I just like doing whatever I want on a birthday. Once I have this little trophy here, it's like, all right, whatever. It's still a cool incentive if you just need something to do and play traditionally like that. So the birthday sim is Yaj and for the guest, Obviously, I'm going to invite our whole entire family, but he has a couple of friends that he's made over the years who I think also need some aging up to do as well. We'll probably have it like super early, like 10 a.m., make it a brunch or something. <laughs> there you go. So on uh, Yasha's birthday, we also have the event going on too, and this is a beautiful way to micromanage your Sims and when they age up in their birthdays, and I'll show you how we're going to age up his friends also literally within the same birthday party. We did get the notification that Yasha's 60 birthday starts tomorrow so i just love that like it literally looks like a legit like event going on because of the icon and everything well it is officially yasha's 60th birthday he's excited to barbecue it looks like everyone's excited for the little things here oh no he doesn't feel well not on your birthday that's awful obviously for birthdays we need a cake so i just come over here cook a nice little plain probably get a hamburger cake if you do have Granny's cookbook or any other custom food mod that allows you to cook desserts and stuff like that too, I highly recommend that as well. If you're also able to use mods, you can also pop in Ravishin's KK Break in your mods folder so that you can get this pastry box, which is going to allow you just to basically spawn any kind of cake that you need. Just in case you're short on time or anything, it's kind of good that you can just go here get a cake and choose <laughs> any kind of cake that you like. And again, this is how you're going to age up your Sims in general. There's nothing absolutely special about this, but this is just how I do my little details when I know I have to age up a Sim. So Yash is going to come over here. Uh, Varsh is putting on the candles and he's going to make a wish. Let's just have him go ahead and make a wish. They're gonna celebrate. It's his birthday. Woohoo! Happy birthday, happy birthday. Yay. Blow out your candles yashi <laughs> so here he goes and there you go he's aged up now oh my gosh it's so hard seeing this isn't it for anyone that loves this family this is the video that you have to watch just because <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. The next thing I want to show you is how I age up the friends. So typically when you have auto aging on for unplayed Sims, they also age up probably like before your Sims. So what I'm about to show you actually involves a mod. It is the let friends age up mod by little miss Sam. If I click on the cake, it doesn't have to have candles on it or not. You just click age up and basically everyone near your lot that is um, any of these ages can be aged up. So this works with kids. If you are having a children's party and you want your kids friends to also age up with them so that everything's kind of cohesive, you can do that. I tend to do this and then I'll go back and manage households and edit each sim and give them an appropriate look. Typically with the sims for what sucks is like if, if anyone takes a piece of the cake, like you cannot use it to blow out candles or I mean age up anymore, but that's not true. With this mod, what it allow you to do is still age anyone up. So I can still age up our friends and whoever else I need to age up. So right now Tina's only showing up, which is so weird. I want to age up Cyrus. I think he's actually a young adult. Okay, cool. So the reason why he wasn't in the adult category is because he was a young adult. Duh. I totally forgot that we did not age him up. So I want Cyrus and Knox to both age up. And so you can do both of them at the same time. Well, you can age both of them up at the same time and they'll just age up right here. Boom. You see? So he's aged up and then also Knox. So did you see them both age up? And now we have two adult friends. Actually, I kind of want them to age up into an elder with Yash, just so that, you know, <laughs> it can all be cohesive. He can have old friends. And there we go. We have old Knox and we also have an old Cyrus in a little bit. And that's how I keep up with the aging. Like I will go ahead, age them up at the birthday party as well. We were using that mod it could because it's very easy now I'm going to actually exit out of this and show you how I would do that if I didn't have this mod So the first thing I would do because you have to turn this cheat on while you're in a household is make sure testing cheats is on and Then I'll go type in cast dot full edit mode 
Yash actually has a brother-in-law who would obviously probably age up with him as well. What I'll do is go to the household via manage households and then I will actually edit the family this way and age them up. So say I had my normal birthday party, everything's going great. Um, I turn on cast full edit mode so that I can just go ahead and click the family and then age them up if you don't put on cast.full edit mode you're you won't be able to like change the the skin details the features and the age and all of this stuff up here so um yeah and so then boom we just age them up so let's just click that and i'm not even giving him a makeover but that's how i would do that just change it via create a sim and then you should be able to see everything so yash is old and then kapil his brother-in-law is also old and that's kind of like how i keep everything in check i don't really care about what bob hamcakes and eliza are doing to be honest with you so that's why i don't have auto age for unplayed sims on because i only care about who they're friends with and who they talk to like i could care less about the other sims and if it's a lot of sims then i guess i'm gonna have to do that to a lot of sims <laughs> but typically i don't run into the issue because there's only like certain sims that i'm worried about and that is pretty much the gist of everything so i just wanted to see that go off i don't know why <laughs> but that's how i do aging and again that's across the board with pets as well so once our cat henry here is ready to age up because aging is off where are you henry like what in the world where are you <laughs> oh a uh, hiding um once henry is able to age up then i'll go into create a sim and actually age um um, Henry up just like how I showed you without mods so this is possible if you're on console or if you don't have mods this is also how you can micromanage like me because I get very um, obsessed with uh, like things being in a certain order or something I've always been that way too so I don't think I played with like aging on since like sims 2 probably i always end up turning aging off but that brings me to my next question when do i turn aging on because sometimes just not knowing when things stop will leave you playing forever and ever and ever in the same life stage like me and i don't mind that what makes um it hard for me to get far in my gameplay is actually because i am a content creator so i tend to like try to save things for certain certain events or scenes but that's neither here nor there when do you turn aging on so i would turn aging on when gameplay gets kind of stale and dull so if you feel like you know i kind of just need a change and i need to be forced to do so then go ahead and turn it to normal or long, whichever one. Um, I tend to ease my way into it and go long. Now it says Roshni will age up in 19 days. Um, just when you're bored, when your gameplay is dull, when you've been accomplishing too much, if you've accomplished a lot in such a short amount of time, then it's like, okay, now it's time to move forward and let my sim kind of progress in life and age up. I would also turn aging on if your sim, um, like once they hit the elder stage. And I do this because, well, I don't want this going on forever. So now that Yash is actually an elder, like once all of the other sims are are an adult for instance for instance or whatever the case may be and the household's kind of moving then i'll just go ahead and turn aging on so that he can actually die naturally and then turn it back on long <laughs> once he dies does that make sense like he's an elder now i'll turn the aging on to long and then play everything out and then once he dies i can restart this whole thing all over again so if you're bored if you're or even if you're accomplishing too little, you know, and you're not really getting things done, then go ahead and age them up or turn aging on, I mean, and do it that way. Most of you probably already knew all of this and you're like, this is nothing new. I, I, I play like this all the time for those avid simmers. But if you're new, you know, or if you're playing on console and, you know, things are just so out of whack, you may not know those game options exist or you may not know how the you know, the days work in aging, or you may also just want to be a micromanager like me. So that's kind of how I do it. That's my thought process. And if you all want to see any other gameplay style, like my personal gameplay style videos, give me some ideas on what else you'd like to see, um, how I do, because sometimes just seeing how someone plays gives you an idea, like how you can play and implement it and making a separate video like this, I think makes it easier than catching it in a let's play, but enough of the chit chat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you'd like more, definitely go ahead and let me know. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe. Just keep swimming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.